Welcome to the Digital Media Academy Certified Schools Program, an affordable, practical solution that makes it easy to integrate core content area learning with a curriculum rich in technology skills and concepts. This video illustrates how Crazy About Games, a certified schools course for grades 2 to 5, uses game design to help students learn, exchange ideas, and creatively express mathematics content. Research studies have shown that effective infusion of technology as a tool will result in enriched learning in any content area or multidisciplinary setting. Before watching this video, you should get familiar with the course content and lesson planning materials. To start, go to the Crazy About Games teacher resource module and complete the built-in teacher training materials. In the course overview and teacher guide page of all certified schools courses, you can access a curricular connection map that outlines ways to make language arts, science, math, and social studies curricular connections. This video offers examples of ways to connect game design and math, such as creating games that illustrate and investigate and or reinforce math concepts, demonstrating understanding of math problems and solutions when creating games, creating games that incorporate numerical operations, demonstrating and using mathematical skills in game design, including probability, estimation, measurement, numerical operations, mental math, etc. We will be making references to the teacher guide. Please have it handy for easy reference. Let's get started with lesson one. In lesson one, during the brainstorming activity about the games your students play, engage them in identifying the use of mathematical concepts or operations in the game design. Ask the question, why is math part of the games? This is intended to raise awareness that math is part of our daily life. During lesson planning, prepare one or two math games for your students to play in small groups or as a class. Hold a discussion on how math is used to solve a problem in the game. Reference real life problems and review the math concept. Some options include Monopoly, Shut the Box, 101 and Out. Students can find the math in Monopoly as they decide whether to buy properties and or houses and hotels. They will also need to identify different probabilities and outcomes based on chance and choices they make. You can play a version where the game is timed, and whoever is richest at the end wins the game. The time limitation will emphasize the result of chance and show the impact of strategic decisions quite quickly. Shut the Box is a game that can help students with numeracy, choosing numbers that add up to the dice roll, probability, how likely it is that they will roll the same combination again, and algorithmic thinking. What is a good strategy for choosing one number over another? If you don't have this game, you can easily use pencils and paper to play. Pig is a great game where students use their calculating skills and probability to see who can get to 100 points first. For students mastering basic math facts, the game is perfect. If your students already have their basic math facts mastered, they can focus on strategy and probability. Pig can be played with dice, pencils, and paper. You can find the rules for Pig here. As a follow-up to the above discussion, during Activity 3 in Lesson 1 when reviewing the answers to Is This a Game Quiz, take this opportunity to go through the game Go Fish in the quiz, and point out how simple card games can teach us mathematical operations, including counting, addition and subtraction, and identifying patterns without us even realizing it. Crazy Eights is another great game for teaching algorithmic thinking, probability, numeracy, patterns and computational fluency as students try to be the first to get rid of their cards. Cheat is another fun game where students can use probability and computational fluency to figure out who is telling the truth and who is cheating as they place their cards in the center pile. In all of these games, math is constantly in the background. As you integrate in math content, you can push your students to identify the concepts embedded in the games. Later, as they design games, you may ask them to choose specific concepts to embed in their own games. Moving on to Lesson 2. During Lesson 2, students work on the Games and Toys Venn Diagram Challenge to sort a set of words and descriptions into three groups, depending on whether they are characteristics of games, toys, or both. Ask students during the brainstorming activity to come up with math games, puzzles, and toys in their list. In addition to the planned activity to explore characteristics of objects, ask the students to think about the math concepts that are covered in the games, puzzles, and or toys. Yahtzee is a relatively simple game that teaches math skills and strategies including computational fluency, 
algorithms, probability, and numeracy. Othello, Reversi, Chess, Backgammon, and Checkers really get students thinking algorithmically about strategy. Encourage students to think carefully and remember the decisions they made and how it contributed to winning or losing the games. After they play for a while, consider having a class or small group discussion in which you ask them to tie the outcome of the game to the decisions they made or strategies they employed. Games like chess also help with spatial thinking and shapes and directions. From lesson 3 to 5, students will work through a discovery process of coming up with a story for their game. Lesson 6 is an important lesson as students are challenged to think creatively, attempting to approach problems in new ways that may break from so-called traditional approaches. The lesson begins with a challenge, followed by a class discussion about the chimp's strategy for extracting the nut from the graduated cylinder. This is your opportunity to introduce the idea of thinking outside the box. We suggest adding relevant math problems to the end of Lateral Thinking It, Give It a Try quiz. Encourage your students to use lateral thinking in solving these math problems. Toothpick or matchstick puzzles are great ways to get students thinking laterally and mathematically as they try to create shapes in as few moves as possible. Fermi puzzles get students thinking computationally as they try to solve impossible problems. Guide them by asking questions that encourage them to break the problem into manageable parts, use their estimating skills, and their imaginations. Encourage your students to draw doodles about math concepts that were reviewed in previous lessons and present in small groups or to the whole class. From lesson 7 onward, students will work individually or in small groups to create a game. Now you can guide your students and channel their ideas to develop games that relate to the current mathematical concepts they are learning. Another option is to have your students create games for younger students around math concepts they learned in previous grades. After brainstorming with your students, ask them to mind map ideas to create games that incorporate math topics you are currently teaching your class, or games that incorporate numerical operations. They can use any of the suggested brainstorming ideation techniques on the learning platform, including mind mapping, doodling or drawing, listing. For this method, you might want to give student topics or categories. Fill in the blanks. As you go through the rest of the course, your students will be guided through the process to complete the game building process. In the final two lessons, number 14 and 15, when you show students the More Fun with Games page, you can direct them to the Robot Battle and Math Multiplication Scratch games for games that deal specifically with math. You can also give them the challenge of finding the math in the other games on the page. If you go to the Hour of Code site yourself, you can choose your grade level and subject, math, to focus specifically on math games in this section. We hope this video shows you the power of integrating course subject teaching with technology and inspires you to come up with your own ideas on how to build literacy, numeracy, problem solving, and critical thinking skills with certified schools flex learning courses. We look forward to hearing from you about the cross-curricular connections you and your students made through Crazy About Games.